Today, I wanna to give you some tips on how to debug programs, especially when the output looks right, but it isn't. Welcome back everybody. It is fall semester in full swing. So I've got students working on projects and debugging and I'm helping try to coach them and help them understand how to be better at debugging their programs. And one of the situations that I find just gets us into all kinds of trouble is when they'll say, you know, it looks right, but I know it isn't because it's failing tests on my auto grader or it, you know, something doesn't behave quite right, even though the, the output looks exactly like what they expect. So today I wanna to take some time to give you some pointers on what you can do if you find yourself in that situation. This video is definitely going to contain source code if you are interested in getting access to the source code or access to my monthly office hour. You can get access to both through Patreon. A huge thanks to all of you who so generously support this channel. I couldn't do this without you. But now without further ado, let's take a look at the code. Okay, so like I said before, today we're looking at the situation where we have a program that we think works, or at least it looks like it works, and it's, but it's not. So to demonstrate this, I have two example programs. So the idea with these programs is simple. Basically, if we take something where we say, you know, we're gonna echo some text, right? So we're just gonna produce some text. Hi, my name is J. Jacob, what is yours? And you wonder, why don't I capitalize my sentences? And the, that's because that's what this program is here to do for me. Basically, what it's gonna do is it's going to check the character that comes after a period, and then if it's not uppercase, it's gonna make it uppercase. And so if we put this into our example program, you're going to see that it does in fact capitalize the first you know, the W and the H. So, so this looks like it's working. Now this other version, which happens to have a bug in it, if I run it, it produces what appears to be identical output. Now this is something that comes up all the time. Someone is looking at this and they're going, wait, it looks exactly the same. Why does it fail the test on the auto grader? Why doesn't it match what's expected? And often the reason for this is some sort of unprintable character, something that is not showing up or, you know, looks like a space, but it isn't. It's possible that you could have trailing spaces at the end of the line that maybe aren't showing up or something like that. But today I really just wanna look at what we can do if we find ourselves in this situation, you know, other than just go to your professor and say, uh, what's wrong with this? And ask them to try to fix it for us, which is often what students do. But let's take a look at what you could do because at some point I'm not gonna be there to fix your problems. So all of these these tips that I'm about to show you basically boil down to we're trying to get this output in a format where we can see the printable and unprintable characters. Okay, so the first way I wanna show you is pretty simple. Just run your program and let's pipe it into a file. So if I say out2.txt for example two and then Example one, we do out.txt or out1.txt. Okay, so now I have the output in two files. So I have this one and mm, that's interesting. So my editor is having trouble with this one, which is by the way, and it's a hint that there's some kind of binary character that is not playing nice with my editor, even though it seems to be fine coming out in the terminal. So one thing of course you can try just as a sanity check is come in here and say diff out one, and out two, so I'm using the diff utility which takes two files and tells me what the differences are. Okay, so again, it's saying binary files differ. That means at least one of these, in this case it's out two.txt, has some character in it and at least makes diff think this is a binary file, this is not a valid text file. So this is giving us some hints into what the problem might be, but it doesn't tell us what the problem is. One thing though that you can do is take a quick look here at the size of the output. Okay, so here you can see, okay, it's not necessarily that one of my characters is wrong per se is that there's an extra one. So the out2.txt has an extra character, but what is it? I still, I still don't know when I'm looking at my code what I should be looking for. And so if we come in here and let's just run our program or we could cat the files, whatever, but let's just run our program and instead of piping it into a file, let's just pipe it directly into xxd, which is a terminal hex viewer, I should say. I was gonna say hex editor, but it's really a hex viewer. If you haven't seen what a hex editor is, check out my video on hex editors. This is not an editor, it's just a viewer, but this allows me to actually look at the binary content of this output. Okay, so over here, we're having the hexadecimal representation of the characters. Over here on the right, we get the actual text representation. And so we can look through here and see whether or not things make sense. Now, this is the output for the first example, and this isn't the one that we have trouble with. So let's try this with the second example. If we run example two, 
then what you're gonna notice here is that right up here at the beginning, I've got a zero byte that I'm printing out. Otherwise, everything looks identical. And the reason for this is simply that if we look at the code really quick, you know, and I won't dive into exact all how this works, it's just taking it a character at a time and then has some variables that, that look and see whether or not it's a period. And then after the period to look at the next alpha character, alphabetical character, and then it, it will check to see if it's uppercase or lowercase and make it two upper. But the point is, is that the way that I wrote this second one, basically the first time through the loop, it's going to print out this last C variable, which happened to be initialized to be zero. And otherwise it totally works, but I just didn't get my logic right. And that resulted in an unprintable character, this zero character at the beginning of my output that the terminal didn't show me, but it's there anyway. So please let me know down in the comments what your favorite way is to deal with binary or unprintable type errors like this. I hope this is helpful to a lot of you. I expect it will be since I see these kinds of bugs all the time and a lot of consternation that they cause. I hope this makes you a stronger programmer. Please be sure to like, subscribe, click something on your way out. And until next week, I will see you later.